Hi, I'm Varsha and you're watching this video from JustTutors.com. In this video, we are going to learn about cross multiplication method. But before moving to our today's topic, we'll try a warm-up question. Here's a question for you. To try this question, you can pause the video. So as you can see that in this question, you need to solve the given set of equation using elimination method. So to solve it, what we can do? We can put minus here, plus here, and minus here, which will cancel off 3m with 3m, and we are left with 7n equals minus 35. Now we divide both the sides by 7. This will give us a value of n equals minus 5. Now we substitute the value of n in 3m minus 2 times minus 5 equals 37. This will give us 3m plus 10 equals 37. This will give us 3m plus 10 minus 10 equals 37 minus 10 which is 3m equals 27 now we divide both the sides by 3 which will give us m as 9 so n is minus 5 and m is 9 this is the solution of the given equation now we move ahead and we're going to learn about cross multiplication method so the cross multiplication method is another way of solving the given set of equation with the variables like if there is an equation is a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals 0 if all the variables and constants are on the left hand side of the equals to sign and on the right hand side there is only 0 then we solve it like this x y and 1 so the x is we forgot about all the coefficients of x we'll write the coefficients of y and the constant which is b1 b2 c1 and c2 for the value of y it's c1 c2 a1 and a2 and for the constant it is a1 a2 and b1 b2 now x is b1 c2 minus c1 b2 divided by a1 b2 minus b1 a2 so x over constant and similarly for y it is c1 a2 minus a1 c2 over a1 b2 minus b1 a2 so these are the values of x and y so in this way we can solve the equation now we move ahead and we'll try a question with it. So here's a question and the question says from a bus stand in Rajasthan if you buy five tickets to Delhi and four tickets to Haryana the total cost is rupees 200 but if you buy one ticket to Delhi and four tickets to Haryana the total cost is rupees 80 and the bus is of same kind so we need to find the fares from the bus stand to Delhi and to Haryana so let us say the fares of Rajasthan to Delhi is x rupees and Rajasthan to Haryana is y rupees so according to the question it is 5x plus 4y equals 200 x plus 4y equals 80 now we need to solve this using cross multiplication method so as we have learned that all the constant and the variable should be on the right hand side so we can rewrite the equations as 4y minus 80 equals 0 so now we make the table as x y and 1 so underneath x it is 4 and 4 the constant is minus 200 and minus 80 now underneath y it's 5 and 1 with the constant and underneath constant there is 1 there is 4 and 4 so now cross multiplication so x is 4 times 8 which is 32 so it's 320 minus minus of minus which is 4 times 2 is 8 so it is 800 over 5 times 4 which is 20 minus 16 which is minus 320 plus eight hundred over 
it's not 16 it's 4 here I'm sorry so 20 take away 4 is 16 so this is equals to 480 over 16 which will give us the value of x is 30 similarly we can find out the value of y so that is going to be minus 200 minus of minus 5 times 8 which is 40 so it is 400 over 20 minus 4 which is minus 200 plus 400 over 16 which is 200 over 16 which is equal to 25 over 2 so the value of x is 30 and y is 25 over 2 in this way we can solve the questions using cross multiplication method there is one more way of solving the question say if the equation is in that way only 5x plus 4y equals 200 it's x plus 4y equals 80 so we can solve it like x y and the, for the constant we put a subtraction sign now it is like 4 4 200 80 5 1 4 and 4 then the value of x is 320 minus 800 20 minus 4 so it's in subtraction sign because it's minus 1 here so this would be same as minus 480 over minus 16 which is 30 again similarly for y that would be 200 minus 400 over minus of 20 minus 4 which is minus 200 over 16 which is equals to 25 over 2 so in this way as well we get x as 30 and y as 25 over 2 so by both the method we get the same answer and both are cross multiplication so in this way we can solve the questions now we move ahead and here are some practice questions for you to try these practice questions you can pause the video now here are the answers for the practice question you can match the answers and you can pat your back as you're working really good in understanding the cross multiplication method thank you for watching the video for more please visit justutors.com